Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 290. Yeah, 290. As you can see, we are a little bit light on the ground. We haven't got uh, Vic with this. Unfortunately, this afternoon he took Paulie at the office. He didn't feel very well, so he, he came back home. Uh, we did speak to him this afternoon. He's feeling a lot better, and hopefully next week um, he's changing his medication. He did say the doctor said um, tomorrow. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he will be back next week. So big love to your brother, and yeah, I hope well you feel soon. better. It's an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Yes, bless him. So as a stand-in for Mr. Victor, we have my wonderful brother, uh, the Soli Omi. The last of the Summer Vapes Takeover Part 7 or something in the UK Vape Show a minute. <laughs> the thing is, I, I just want to say this at the beginning, I know it's not obviously the UK Vape Show we have, Vic, because he is the UK Vape Show, but we, we, me and Adam have, have, have tried, we just want to try and keep the continuity, you know, just keep it going so you're not losing a show every week uh, while he's been poorly. It's not the same without him, but uh, that's what we're trying to do, aren't we, Ad? That is it. Keep, 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 it, keep it going. Keep the wheels on the wagon. Uh, and just keep bringing you your usual Thursday night number one vaping show in the UK. That's, that's nice. <laughs> and that that just rolled off the tongue. That that just did, didn't it? That just really rolled off the tongue. There. <laughs> I'm like a pro sometimes. I'm absolutely like a pro. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, I'll start this week off. Go on then, bro. Saying uh, bullshit computer still waiting on Hermes uh, delivering it back before it gets delivered back out to me. So thank you everyone for for hanging in there. And if you didn't see, I did post something up on my second channel, which I'll talk about later on anyway. Um, but this evening, I am on the Geek Vape Zeus X on top of the Yee V sticking with my really poorly fingers look. Ooh. Poorly fingers. You can tell he's been which, digging. Oh, I tell you something, that's moving bricks, that. That's moving bricks. And I, my gloves have got holes in them. So every time you go and grab something, I've ripped skin off my Ooh. fingers. And you'd be surprised. Even my fingerprint uh, scanners on my phone and on my tablet don't work because I've ripped my fingerprint apart. That looks sore, uh, that. Oh, it is. It is. And every time I tap it or anything like that or go to grab a drink, it fucking raters. That's going to be terrible, that, when you have a bit of uh, lad time over Mary Poppins, isn't it? It's going to sting. Oh, don't start. I, <laughs> I've got to say, right, for everyone in chat, thank you very much. for. I, I've been posting GIFs since I started every night and I've never seen so much action on a GIF as when I posted that last week. So thank you very much for all of your love. Um, but the Geek Vape Zeus X V sticking with some uh, delicious, delicious, delicious lemon lush in there. Ooh, can't wait to be lemon, lemon lush. Lemon lush. Lemon I, I, I'm always at the bottom of my fucking bottle and all, every single time. Uh, Profile Unity again, uh, which I've got the wicking right. I keep on topping it up and it doesn't leak, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, on top of the uh, RX2 slash 3 Wismec Rouleau. And that's Rouleau. it. So, uh, Mark, what are you vaping on? Uh, you sound the Coke new, again? New, new, new glass. New glass. I've got me proper Coke. What am I vaping on? I'm on the Danelli from Snowcat Mods Mech, 3D printed with the Intake Dual. On top of there, in that, I've got Boss Juice, uh, Strawberry and Grape Drops. Is that the one that you said that you didn't like grape, but you like that one? Yeah, I was quite, I'm really impressed with it. So I'm on that. I'm also on me Brick, the Titan. In that, I've got the other Boss Juice, uh, which is the Apple and Mango. Kind of tastes more like Haribo. Best way of explaining it. Simple as. And I'm also on the clutch with the drop. And in that, I've got the uh, crushed coconut and limeade from Eclipse. That's it. That's all I'm on. Have you still got them bottles? Yeah. I hate them bottles. I didn't, I didn't like them that, that, that I like this one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the, most of them, but that one I did like. Well, it just, it just, it actually tastes, you know, when you get like roller cola or them really cheap lemonades yeah. and just sweet and, oh, not my, uh, it was actually made by uh, the people from Horizon Tech, wasn't it? Mm. Ooh. That's right. <laughs> not, not, not very nice for me, but I didn't like them. 
Um, big shout out Spice and Easy and big shout out to everybody in chat again for joining us. You are a bunch of stars. I'm vaping on. I'm on the tech mod, tech mod, tech mod, tech mod. Um, with the new Nico from Aspire. Uh, it's the Mountain Lung RTA. The review for that will be coming out on Saturday. In that, I've got some 88 vapes menthol. It's cheap, it's cheerful, and you know I like my menthol. Review just out the Chroma Z uh, from Inakin. With a cracking new intro. As with, I'm the, with a new intro, yes, a new Ooh. intro. Uh, with one of my Patreon's actual tunes as well. Uh, all the way from Australia, Stu Valentine, big shout out. Again, with some Rochford Project in mm. there. We've got to have a little bit of Rochford Project. Uh, we've then, I got the Kelpie out because I actually showed Darth how to wick it last night. With the Chroma R, I'll absolutely love that mod. It's a really, really nice mod. And in there, I don't know if anybody checked this review out that I did. Uh, the El the, the, Fruto. <laughs> El Fruto, that was me. Yes. La la la. <laughs> la 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 <laughs> I did really enjoy that. Um, and then I've got uh, the Aspirea, <laughs> what a name. Um, <laughs> I love that. The review were out for that last Aspiria. week. <laughs> with the Simba RDA on top of that. And in there I've got some fresh vape co Urban Urban Avanio. Um and this is a grape as well, I nearly dropped that then. Uh, I'm blue Raz. Uh, Wanko RDA so you can fit that on top of it. Yeah, with a bit of Blue Raz. <laughs> yeah. And that's me. That's me. Hello, please, with. Indra Kushida. Kushida. Uh, Kush, Kushnada. Uh, Army Man Brad. I had you in mind as well. I knew it was time to change my intro. Army Man Brad did say to me, he sent me a message, uh, can you turn the bass down in your intro because it blows my speakers in my telly? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I, uh, I turned it down a little. So, I, I've got a bit of a topic, and we were actually going to... I don't mean like one of them small little ones. I was with, just about... I love yeah, them. Yeah, I like yeah, topics. I like topic. Um, topics. I like a topic. Picnics. Bit of nutty goodness. Well, has a hazelnut in every bite. <laughs> You've been dying to get that here, haven't you? <laughs> Um, and pure <laughs> we was going to talk about this um, last night on the Three Men and Vape show, but we didn't quite get round to it. Um, there is a company, I'm not going to name the actual company, uh, and basically what their idea is, is a little bit like a go compare of vaping. So they're getting a website together where they're getting loads of different other companies that sell, uh, obviously, whichever product, just say if it were a... I don't know, just the, oh, why would I say gonorrhea? The, the Chroma R. Where did gonorrhea come from? It the gonorrhea. No, it's head. the Chroma R. The Chroma R, Aiden. <laughs> You're gonorrhea. You I've got, got the Aspirea. Aspirea, gonorrhea. That's what I'm reading. So, um, it, 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 yeah. can't believe that. I just, ooh, hold on, gonorrhea. Uh, so, what, what they're doing is. Is so that if you typed in Chroma R, they will find you the prices that are all there. So it's like a go compare of the vaping world. What do you reckon to that, lads? I'm, I'm not going to burst your bubble, but uh, two years ago, uh, there was an app get released at Expo. And I mm. can't, for the life of me, remember what it was called. Was it Zimmo or something like that? Not Zimmo. Um... It was... Vimo? It, it was, no, not Zimmo. It was similar to the Vape Finder app. Yeah, mm. it was similar to the vape finder app, and it didn't go into that much of detail, but it showed oh. you where the um, closest vape store were to you, the best deals uh, that it could find, or, or sale prices. I can't remember what it was called, uh, but there was something very similar. It didn't take off that time, which is mm. which is a bit disheartening because it is a good little idea. It's not. It's not a, a terrible idea to, to be able to sit there and just go, I want a new tank or co coils. It'd be brilliant for coils because that's the worst one because you'll have a look on one website and coil will be £12.99 for a three pack. And then you'll have a look somewhere else and it's got the same three pack for ten ninety nine. Now, I know that doesn't sound a lot, but when you stick your shipping and everything else on top, you, mm. you're saving what your shipping cost is. So coils and pre, I wouldn't say pre-built coils. The only, the only thing that I would worry about is how they're doing it, how they are comparing. Are they doing it independently or are they end up going to get companies that actually like sponsor them? Yeah, I think so it's that. Jason dropping in, Chico. Chico, so, we, we've had, they've actually got some big companies on, um, like your Element Vapes and all them sort of companies. Mm. And what they're basically doing is that they're not selling it yet. 
No, they're but just, they're c- yeah, yeah. comparing everybody's prices. So you might get one from Elements Vapes, algorithm. or you might get one from Washington mm. Vapes, and then you get one for the other one. And they're saying the best one at the minute is th- thirty three ninety nine, and and that's the. It'll just be it'll just be an algorithm that picks up the price. Yeah, hopefully and, that it is rather than it going rather than them pushing a more suitable company. Should, yeah, yeah, you with me? Favoritism. Yeah, favoritism. Because obviously Favorite that company it. so that gives them more money per month for yeah. promoting it'll, it. It'll just be algorithm. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I suppose it'll just be if if those websites and those shops are signing up to it, all they'll have to do is is give out their their website to them and just go. These are the prices that we've got priced on the website. The algorithm will then just sort it into price ascending, descending, and uh, it'll work out that way. Surely, in theory. Because you can't you can't man an app like that, can you? You can't. I, I know. It's no, trying, it's, but... it's obviously going to have to be that the, the, they're they're going to look at they're going to type it and it's going to be connected to each each yeah, one yeah. from whoever there. I did say this. Um, I talked to Mister B and we were saying as long as you've got the decent companies in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. but and I, I suppose it would help people. Let's know in chat what you think. It would help. Um, you know, for people who are not quite up for where the sites are to go. And yeah. Thinking, I, I want to buy the. Whatever gonorrhea, um, and yeah. I want to see whatever price it is. <laughs> Type it all in. It's mm. it's one good night. That's how much that costs. It is, yeah, mm. and a bad taxi ride home. Exactly. I mean, for everyone's sake, you just type in a mod that you're after. You've seen a mod on Instagram. You're going to say it then, wouldn't you? That's nice. And then obviously they give you the the best deals. Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, it coils. Coil, mm. Coils is like the absolute ball breaker of it all. Because how many times? How many times in the past have you gone, right, this company's sent me this product. I really, really like it. They've only sent us three three coils. I've burnt through them three coils. I would really like to go and find some more. Then you go looking around. There might be three different websites that sell them. You'll look at that website. You'll think, mm, I don't really like the look of that. Uh, and for, to have an app that sorts it all out for you, mm. it would be pretty, pretty swish. Well, it'd be good for uh, save your time and messing about searching for it. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, like I said, if it works, it's like a go compare. But obviously, like you, what you were saying, if somebody's getting a backhander and a bung, um, then yeah, a questionable website's just good. Yeah. Uh, if you can feature us, we'll sort you some pennies out. Mm. Then it's. It's, it's definitely one of them. I think uh, Big Mooney uh, uh, makes a brilliant point there. A lot of companies, you get these online stores um, where they say, look, yeah, we'll ship it out. And they're, they're actually drop shipping. Mm. So it's coming from China. Now, China are telling you that it's going to be there within seven, eight days when we all know that when it's coming from China. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes it does come within the seven days. I've had stuff from China come faster than it has come from yeah. the UK. But um, it... it Nine out of ten times you're going to be waiting a couple of weeks to get it. Pip, I always use RTAs. I just every now and again there'll be a stock coil tank that comes up, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I like that one." So it, yeah, that that's another thing. Letting people know whether it's a drop shipping site or whether it's actually a, a site site that's actually um, you'd be surprised how up. many drop shipping sites there are. Because good evening, Mister Michael Ross. Good evening, Ben. Good evening, Scott Morrison. Uh, hey, good evening, everyone. Just, just so you all know, they've all popped in. How would you know if the site was reputable? I, I think if if you've the way that I've always seen a site that's reputable, and and Facebook is cracking for this, because if you put into Facebook, uh, has anyone ever ordered from such and such? It is. It's definitely one of them that people. W- good evening, Cesario, my my good friend, Mister Craig. How the devil are you? Uh, yes, they're, sure. all, they're all popping up, site saying hi now. <laughs> so hi but if you go onto facebook just type in if you go onto any of our groups or anything like that you can guarantee there'll be someone who's gone has anyone ever ordered from xyz and everyone goes oh, well i wouldn't touch them with a 10 foot barge pole i've had something or my mates had something or whatever Blaze and then you'll get you'll get the other side of it which go i um i always order from there and a lot of them, you see the same names pop up, Element Vape, all these other places. You see the names pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. And uh, you can kind of filter out and, and use, mm. um, use your common sense a little bit with it. 
Yeah, the, I think we, we get a lot of that in the UK um, the vape show group, don't we? Where people are yeah, yeah, up yeah. there and they ask people. And that, I think that's the best thing. If you're ever going to buy anything, always make sure that you go and ask people before you go to any company and see what the customer service is like. It's not necessarily if it's going to turn up within three days. Good evening, But it's if it does turn up and you, it's, it's buggered, can you send it back and they're going to send you a new one? Mm. Yeah. And yeah, and as Dean says, you always get that one twat twunt is actually but that goes, you'll get it cheaper on fast tech. <laughs> <laughs> you will, you but it'll it come in about eight months' time and it'll be a clone. Yeah, and it probably won't be the right one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it, it, I, the thing with vape shops online is because obviously it's been a massive thing just lately, obviously, with the pandemic and everything else, but it's always been a minefield because we've all heard of bad companies there's been bad companies that have been and gone throughout the throughout the time and to be fair you you normally know the bad ones you can normally tell whether it be i've i've never ordered anything from a website that i didn't trust the look of so if you have a look on it and it's like a bit shifty i i kind of i kind of always 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 keep away I mean, let's face it, just slapping Facebook the question, what they're like, and most people will tell you. God, you, what, do you think, what do you think of it? That's that's the big question. Ooh, what do you think of it? Craig. No, Craig's just putting... He, uh, do you know what? I've been, real, what I've been addicted. <laughs> no, not you. Not you. I, I, I have been addicted to this juice, right? For, for the longest time now, which is the jammy, uh, jammy, I nearly called it fucking jammy donut again then. The jammy custard um, by Wilder West. And it is, oh, it's just school dinner, custard and jam is the, is the way that it brings it to me every time I vape it now. And it's absolutely delicious. Jackie! And, and uh, Aiden sent some over. Is that my wife? Your wonderful wife. My wonderful wife. Really good deals as well there from uh, the Wilder West. I've, I've reviewed quite a number of their yeah. juices, and the good juices, I don't think I've found one that I don't particularly like. Obviously, a lot of it was in my flavour profile, but I think it's like seven ninety five for 100 mils. But if you buy two, you get the third one three. And I think if you buy three, you get uh, another two for free. That's really good, that. So, and they've got loads of flavours. So I'm sure if you tried the uh like five different ones i'm sure you'd come oh. up with an all-day banger for 100 yeah. mils i mean that you, you, well, you, you can works pull out one out you, you it's you can pull i think you can pull any of them out and go that's a really nice one i've only found one that i don't like and that's it and that was the cherry bake one because it just it's just not nice Stu, you know me i need, I need a bit of uh, a bit of blue in my life bit of blue for dad's bit of blue eyes bit of blue <clears throat> while my wife is knocking about in chat i just want to say thank you very much for making her debut uh this last week in a video over on my second channel i i oh, blame second channel not only fans then yeah i <laughs> i'd get some money then i tell you uh, but i uh i decided to take a leaf out of Aiden's book because my wife really wanted to. And we went and we went and had a date day and we filmed the day. I, I, I absolutely loved it. And Aiden, I want to thank you because I think Jackie loved it as well. And we just went and had a laugh. Hey, and, mate, you uh, did really good. I watched it. You were brilliant. Both of you were absolutely fantastic on it. It were cracking. It were cracking. It was a good laugh. It were a good laugh. And uh, I can see, I can see why you and Lou had such, such a fun time. Um, doing it, yeah, because it it was enjoyable. Oh come on, Lou was a natural, wasn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she, I, into when it. you're walking down a field and somebody asks you, "Should I roll down that hill?" It's like, yeah, go on, fucking go for it. <laughs> Get on, uh, just dodge I'm all that shit. Ask him if we wanted one lump or two with our school custard, so that don't fill me with coming. Co Lee, <laughs> nice to see. You. Also, I see Devil Vapor as well. What time are we on? Uh, we are oh, twenty past. Twenty past. Twenty we've past. Got, we've we've got ten minutes to go for that, but yeah. So you're going to be doing a few more on your uh, channel as well, aren't you? I, I am. Do you know what? I break the news because a lot. I know a lot of my subscribers are watching this as well. So uh, <clears throat> while I wait for the computer, unfortunately, the computer is what I use for um, recording the reaction segment because I run OBS on the on the laptop. And as I said to Aiden before we came live, I tried to do one the other day, uh, and it it sort of. 
it started for five seconds and I thought, I'm on, I'm onto a winner. I can get at least a video out here. And it just froze and absolutely froze the computer up. So I got angry. So what happened then is um, because I can do basic editing on, on the tablet, it works out all right. Cause all I do is record and then transfer onto the tablet and, and away I go. And uh, I didn't find Excal- Excalibur at the top of that mountain. It was a fucking mountain that I climbed as well. It wasn't just a hill. Uh, when Jackie stood at the bottom of the hill and went, look how steep it is. And we watched the video back and went, that does not show how steep that little hill were. That little hill were like that, like literally like that. Stuart could, says you must have got your PC from Fast Tech. <laughs> it was, it was. It's not the right one. Uh, but as I mentioned last week, it got shipped to me via my Hermes and it's getting shipped back via my Hermes and then sent out by another, another uh, what's it called? Another bloody distribution service. Did anybody but, else see that thing with, with my Hermes where the actual bloke's <laughs> lobbing? He's, he must have had a bad day or something. He's got that big van and he, yeah. he's got them parcels. He's just going, looking at it, lobbing it, <laughs> looking at it, lobbing it. It's terrible. It, I, I, do you know what? We could rant forever about my Hermes. They're absolutely dreadful. But while I wait for it being shipped back, yes, I have, because I can edit on here, I can do some odd videos and, and bits and pieces. And because some of them uh, have got, like, I've I told Aiden my idea for the new one, uh, which is coming up very shortly. I even shown him what I've got in this corner. I My nephews have got electric scu- scu- scooters. 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 They've got electric scooters that go 12 mile an hour. Um, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I've got one. I've got one here. It hasn't charged. The motor's not working on it, but we've got a replacement that's coming. And I'm going to try not to die, but I'm going to take one on a little test run without it being a review of an electric scooter. It's going to be more of a risk of my own arse. See, I said to him, what he needs is he make, needs to make sure that he's got them elbow pads and, you know, like a, a Tony Hawk's helmet. You know, them ones oh, yeah. that are strapped around there. And knee pads. <clears throat> yeah. So, do you know, the only thing that when he told me about it, I had this sort of, like, picture of Rodney off of uh, <laughs> Only Fools and Horses. Can you remember, <laughs> can you remember when uh, Thingy won that holiday and they went to Benidorm and he had to pretend they were his 13-year-old son? Ooh. And he comes back with that skateboard. So it was my wife's idea. So I think my wife's trying to set me up as Rodney. Um, <laughs> yeah. But she went, oh, there's some scooters. So I've, I've got a few ideas. There's going to be some little movies going up on there as well. Some uh, some little uh, life events, I'm going to say. Um, as well. <laughs> I'm not even getting into that. No, um... no, I'm not going to get them kind of movies. <laughs> it is going to be family friendly um, when I learn how to edit swear words out. Um, but it is going to be. I, I will need insurance uh, for an e-scooter, I tell you. But these are these are supposedly kids scooters. But go 12 mile an hour. They're 12 mile a fucking hour. You have to push mm-hmm. them at three mile an hour before engine kicks in. I will go in round car park like one hour. <laughs> and engine weren't kicking in, so I'm just rushing around, flipping around this bloody car park. Dean, you're right. It must have been like Monday morning feeling his boss had just proper pissed him off. He was like, fuck this, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm filling the van as quick as I can and getting out of it. So that's that's going to be a bit of fun. I know you're you've said um, you're going to be doing some more stuff. Yeah, on our, your our video next well. week is actually on Spice and Easy. We're doing uh, the uh, kebab pack. Ooh, the kebab pack uh, mixed with my own little uh, way of I doing know, it. Just to- you've just told me about this, and I'm starving now. Yeah, good packs as well from Spice and Easy. Really good packs. Uh, just just on the, the thing of your channel as well, uh, you, uh, Oh, what's your actual schedule going to be? Is it going to be like one a week, two a week? Or... Um, I, at the moment, I'm aiming for uh, one a week because because they're, a, they're going to be a little bit more effort put into the editing and, and B-roll and stuff like that because I, the, the plan for the channel is going to be a, a digital scrapbook. So it, hopefully it's going to be fun for everyone who's watching, but I'll be able to stand there in about five years time and go do you know what this is what's happened and and this is how it's gone so a, a true vlog a true vlog I, I i take a lot of inspiration from watching i've been watching a lot of casey neistat just lately and you know when you go past all of his drone shots and everything else and you look at what his channel is about it he can look back and sit there and go this was my daughter growing up this was my wife being pregnant. This was me getting married. This was everything. His life events are all there. In, shoebox in... kebab, definitely. I love a shoebox. 
But it is it's one of them things that I will be able to to stand back at the end of it and go, I've I, I've just seen my kids grow up through it and, and I've seen everything else. So uh, it, it's called Just a Snippet of Hutton. Uh, oh, that's a... <laughs> I know, I need to change the name of it. It's called Just a Snippet of Hutton. Um, because that's he's got, he's got a lot of Jewish followers. <laughs> <laughs> he's not putting the house. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. aye. <laughs> 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 it's got a lot of how do's. All right, I need to change. I need to change. In fact, let's let's change the name. Um, but yeah, it's that's that's what it's called at the minute. I didn't think about the Jewish connection or the uh, snip the end off. Um, Me and my in, in the uh, <laughs> what is Foskin? That's what it's going to be called from now on. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's going to be fun. And I, I've got some. I've got some cat weasel too. <laughs> But um, so uh, j- just just going a little bit off that topic, you know, this week, Mark, is it the shop opening? Officially, yes, on the uh, Monday. So bricks and mortars are all open. Yes, we are open. We are allowed people in the shop. Yay! I, 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 are you geared up for it? Are you happy? Or yeah, I'm l- looking forward to it. To be honest with you, I mean, we've been doing click and collect obviously this whole of the uh, lockdown, but it's not the same. It's not the same that we're getting that, you know, that face-to-face interaction. So I'm really looking forward to it, yeah. Adam, have you got your link to your channel? I'm just doing it now. <laughs> Who are you thinking in front? So, yeah, I, I, I bet a lot of people are going to be happy that the bricks and mortars are opening up and they're not having to... It's been hard. It really has been hard for vape shops. Um, do it your life. Most have been doing click and collect, which is... Okay, we've been surviving, but it's not quite the same with that, you know, that personal interaction. So I'm looking forward to getting back to normal. No. Oh. Wicked. It's that time of the evening, bro. It is. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you, you can take the Mickey out of me all of you want, all you want now, because I'm not going to be able to see chat. Um, I'm going to bring up Caster's questions. Diddle do, diddle do, diddle do, mail time. Do, 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 do. And we have a lot of questions tonight. Thank you very, 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 very much. There is there's quite a few knocking around here. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, get yourself settled, get your vape in your hand, and get your drink ready for mail time. Okay, uh, John Roloff. Hey? <laughs> you just turned into cart vapor. <clears throat> John Roloff. He turned into me first. Let's not get started on that. <laughs> he copied me at first. Um, John Roloff. <laughs> I did say that once, I'm sure. Uh, John Roloff writes in. Good evening, John. Thank you for your letter. Uh, To all, has there ever been two mods or kits that have had innovative or non-innovative parts that make you think if you added this... Oh, if there were ever two mods that I'm trying to read it and make sense of it in my own head. Has has there ever been two mods that got released and you ever thought, let's mash them together and they'll they'll work absolutely incredible? Hmm. Hmm. Let's ponder on this one. <laughs> straight, straight hmm. away. Straight away. We we mention it just about every single week. Yeah. The yeah. Mm. When the oh, reload came out, when the reload came out, I think they did it themselves because what they did is they released the reload, and then what they did is they threw a DNA board in it, which at the time there wasn't the 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 yee he chips or or people. Yee-hee. Yeah. making their own proprietary chips that were as good. The DNA was the standard bearer at the time. And, and I think they did it themselves. But the battery management of the original before the update with the three batteries literally were like an old school Nokia. You could you could put it down, leave well, it for three days. They released it originally with a DNA though, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Mm. It was the 200S, the yeah. RX, uh, the Relo 200S. Well, the problem with it was it was too expensive. Oh, completely. I don't think it was the 200S. I had the 200S, I think. But it reminds me of something else. I had that silver one, and then Mark gave me the red one. Mm. But yeah, it, 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 I love it's that, Rulo. But what, I, you I put, what would you put in? Expensive. I, I think, to be fair, go on. I think it cost me £100 with a Baby Beast tank when I first bought that from Shop on Corner. Yeah. I, I mean, you could pick it up. I remember... I remember I had the green and green and white one, the turquoise and white one. 
and I actually bought it and I bought it for, I think, about 45 quid. About 45 quid, but that was the original without the um, DNA board. I'm sure the DNA was the, the S. I, I might be wrong. I, I, I thought I'd got the... I could be wrong, bro. Um, um, I'm in Brad's... About- I mean, man, Brad saying mix and abyss. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, being mixing, I think they did it with clutch for me because obviously these signature tips they brought out the uh, squonker originally. Yeah. And then so I like, thought, I know, let's get rid of the squonky bit and just have the uh, clutch. And I still think that's a that was a clever idea. I think I, I think a lot of companies actually work it out themselves and. We, we, we don't I don't think that we give vape companies enough credit for that because what what we end up doing is we end up moaning too much about being beta testers uh, when they release products but a lot of companies um, a lot of companies will release something and they'll have a really good product on the hand but they'll not follow through if you get me because what they'll do is I, I remember the I hate to say this but the smock Gpriv came out with a really, really good chip. It had a really good chip and it had a really good display on it. The rest of the mod was just a little bit janky, but the chip set in it was brilliant. So if you were to take that and put it into just about any other mod at the time, it'd have worked brilliantly. The, the screen on it was brilliant. It was massive, it was clear, it was colorful. Um, and I just, I think there's been a, a few that have been released that just, that, that they sort of, bring the sales back round and, and go, do you know what? We'll release this good product, but then they don't follow through with it. That's, that's I found a lot of mods you think, God, that was a cracking little mod, and it's just a single 18650, and you saw that. Why didn't you do a 21700? The Diamond Mist brick. Awesome if you'd have done a 2700. Yeah, you, you if you go back to like when we were doing the show, a lot of mods were just, you, there wasn't very many 21700s anything, really, no. was there? If you go back to like 2016, 17, 18, there wasn't loads. But when you got something like um, the Aegis, I always say about the Solo, they released the Solo, and it was like literally that a millimetre, they could have made that a 21700. Again, I, I never actually mentioned this in my review, but I, I wish I did. 21700 again for the, the rear, but... Again, you would be adding some weight to it. It is already a weighty little bit of a device. So, I, but a lot of them, a, a single battery, eighteen six fifties. Yeah, them really want a twenty seven hundred. And yeah, they do now. That would be perfect. For a single battery, twenty one seven hundred. You're going to get hours of battery life. Yeah. But no, they, they, they go down the 18650 route. I, I have noticed a lot of, well, uh, a lot of the these sort of kits that, that I'm reviewing, you know, like the Senus and all them, a lot of them now are 3,000 mark inbuilt batches, where mm. before we were looking at 1,500, 2,000, yeah. or 2,000. They're all 3,000 mark now, so you are mm. getting that extra bit of battery push. I Cracking question. Cracking question, John Roloff. Uh, thank you for writing in. And uh, this one is cracking. I want to say a big, big thank you to Mr. Andrew Rees uh, for writing in and punctuating your comment like you were writing a letter. Um, Andrew Lees, 12 from uh, Newcastle. <laughs> it's not really. It's not really. Uh, it's put to all with a comma and then a return on there as well uh, to make a nice little space. If there could be any juice that you could make into a shower gel, what juice would it be and Why? Uh, lemon lush, and I'd put ball tingler in it, like, like uh, you know, tea tree stuff. <laughs> you know, the green ball tickler. I would happily just shower in lemon lush with the looking <laughs> like that. Oh, <laughs> the thing I had coming through my head was a spoonful of ball tickler makes the um, <laughs> the mental yeah. eucalyptusness of, of that stuff I included in there. While you're showering, the smell alone would make me stand in the shower for hours. Erected, <laughs> I would be quite moist. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, uh, I've, I actually bought some the other day, which is shower gel, which is uh, cherry bakewell. Oh, I smell! I smell beautiful, like a cherry bakewell. <laughs> it's it's when you're in shower going like that. <laughs> yeah. The only trouble is, though, I did say in the bath the other day, shall I taste it? And I didn't, it just tasted so. No. <laughs> shower gel never t- smells like. I'm not even going to get into that because that makes it sound like all three of, well, me and you have 
Me and you have stood in the shower going, hey, eat me. <laughs> Mark, Mark's going like that. Nut test. <laughs> Nut test. <laughs> Nut test in juice. What would yours be, Mark? I don't know. I've not even thought. <laughs> it's all right. I'm done questioning that. Um, I think that big Cherry Bakewell would be actually quite interesting, actually. It's, it actually smells beautiful. Mm. We'll do. Mark's round at your house later on like that. <laughs> so all right, this. Let's, let's get Alf clean. Yeah, get Alf clean. Hey. Hey. I mean, you what you're that. not going to want is ice or menthol, are you? I d- that's why I'm saying lemon lush with that, you know, that green tea tree. Yeah. Uh, everyone's uh, had that. Everyone's had that. It's not too mentholy. It's not too burny. It just tingles. A nice bit of dick tingler. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Only problem is, if you get out of a really hot shower into a really cold bathroom, you drop to your knees. Yeah. Because menthol just goes bosh straight on your bell end, and you're out. Absolutely <laughs> out. Andrew Rees, I, I want to thank you very much for that question. That is easily one of the best questions that I've had the privilege to read out. Um, that's a cracking question. Uh, <clears throat> follow it up with Chris Norman, 28 from uh, Burnley. I'm just going to make places and ages up for you now, um, just because it makes me feel better. Uh, If you had to vape a savoury flavour for the rest of your life, what would it be? And in commas, in in brackets, he's put, and yes, we know they don't work, and steak bakes are excluded. A savoury flavour. Now, didn't, now, um, I never actually reviewed this, but didn't they, uh, fucking out with the Batman, do something with cheese? Nacho cheese, isn't it? A cheese and something. Cheese and onion pasty from Greg's. From Greg's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been fogging out it, with a bath. bath I, I, I really, he's not one of them people. Well, unless he's got the munchies, he doesn't look really that type of bloke could have one of them. Uh, savory vape. Do you know what? I've I, I've had the misprivilege of, of tasting some savory vapes. I've had a multiples. But I, I'll tell you something. To sneak one in, I would vape cucumber juice. I we, suppose it'd be just like... Uh, we've tried that. We've all tried that. Yeah, mm. it'd be just like cucumber, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah but that's not savoury, though, is it? Uh, it's a salad product, so... Yeah, it's not savoury. I've tried French toast. He's a fucking to chef it. as well. I thought... No! Oh, <laughs> it is savoury. It's a salad product. It's not I'm surprised you don't you want to try it. with jam roly-poly, would you? You wouldn't <laughs> hey, sit there and go, well, do you know what I'm going to have? Tuna! 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 I want tuna. tuna. <laughs> exactly, you have tuna and cucumber. Tuna! <laughs> tuna! <laughs> don't fucking start. It's been two years. <laughs> but you have tuna and cucumber. Let us know in chat what you actually call it. Do you call it tuna <laughs> or do you call it Tuna! Tuna! <laughs> There is no CH in it. It is tuna. <laughs> tuna. A, come take on a me. Tuesday. Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> it's tuna on a Tuesday. Also, uh, also, I never thought celery was actually savoury. Is it? Yeah. See, I won't class that as savoury. Oh, if we're going to get into it, tomatoes are fruit. Yeah, Just but saying. cucumber a fruit. Cucumber's not a fruit. Cucumber's a vegetable. Are you sure? Yeah. Although it's got seeds. It's a vegetable. What about a marrow? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, as well? You know, like with all this political correctness as well, you're not allowed to call them marrow fat peas. You have to call them slightly chubby peas. <laughs> slightly chubby peas. <laughs> That's a, that, that don't read very well. It can, does it? Marrow fat. Uh, marrow, slightly chubby. Don't be, don't be foul uh, peas. Marrow chunk. Marachunk. Um, Marachunk. Do you know what? I, a bacon. Bacon flavour is not terrible. It can be sweet if you have it with a maple glaze or something like that. So, I'd like to try Dorito one. What kind of Dorito one? Cool just original plain. would be just, fine. No, no, just a plain Dorito one. I do like like this salted. Mm, slightly salted Dorito. I love them. I tell you what, let's flip it the other way around, though. Let's do it. Which one wouldn't you definitely do? I think them, uh, what's they called? Um, you can get bacon fries and you can get them other ones. What are they called? Oh, scampi fries. Scampi fries. Can you imagine Ooh. that? I fucking love scampi fries. Ooh. I love scampi fries. You know, growing up in Ports. Oh, remember them tw- Twiglets, were it? 
Oh, Twiglets. Twiglets. Yeah, I quite like Marmite. Twiglets. Mm. No, they're Marmite. What's the what were them? Uh, knickknacks. That's oh, it. I love oh, knickknacks yeah. as well. Knickknacks. I, I, to be fair, can you imagine vaping scampi fries? The more I think about it, right, I love scampi fries. I grew up in pubs, so you always got told to shut up and go and eat your scampi fries in corner. And you eat them, right? They taste really nice. They've got that scampi and hint of lemon, but the smell is horrendous. Can you imagine? We get a bad rep for walking down the street smelling like cake. You walk past an old bloke and go... He's up there going, memories in the corner of my mind. Do you know all that reminds me when you're in the war? <laughs> you're in the war. That reminds me of my wife, that smell. Um, she do well for a set of tights. <laughs> yeah, scampi fries. I'm, I'm with you on scampi fries on that one. Prawn and cocktail, that's it, Les. He's bringing... Oh, <laughs> Prawn cocktail flavour. Just anything like that would just be vile. I, I, like I said, I had that French toast and bacon like a million years ago now, and I still oh, remember. Oh, that's them. a good one. Minted lamb. Oh, yeah. Oh. Actually, that would be a good one. Yeah, yeah. it would be nice gravy. <laughs> <laughs> You're going a bit a la carte now. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, do you know what? I'd like it if on inhale it were minted gravy, and then on exhale you'd got a nice bit of cabbage and some carrot and some gravy. Oh, don't forget your mash. Don't forget the mash. You need oh, you that mash. mash taste. You can have mash. It's not a Sunday roast. It's a lamb roast. <laughs> a, good, a good onion monster munch. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> and a double decker. And a, double, and a I boost. Love, I love a boost. I love a boost. I, Chris, absolutely cracking, cracking question. Let's see, it says. Yeah, well, I think that's absolutely brilliant. That. Yeah, great question. Great question. So, moving on. We don't want uh, Martin Linnenbrugger from uh, Linnenbruggen, uh, age 22 and a half. Uh, can the casters do any impressions? We want. We all want to see them. You can do a blow up doll. Next <laughs> <laughs> um, time I've, I found my brother sexy. <laughs> 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 Apparently, I'm very busy. You've got well, a pretty I'm... mouth there, boy. <laughs> that was, Apparently, that I'm was a very a busy uh, sex doll as well. I've got five working offices. <laughs> <laughs> I can do the lure pack, man. <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. Can I do any? Politically correct ones? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can't go down them lines. <laughs> I can do a bit of Donald Duck. Tiny bit, but that's about it. What about you, Mark? No, I can't do... No. 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 Uh, good morning, Vietnam. It's all 16 hours of the old server. Oh, my God, it's early. Well, let's rock them to the DMC. Denang me, denang me. Get her open, hang me. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> Yags, bags. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too early? No, too late. I uh, the problem Martin Lindenberger is you've called us and we are sober. Uh late night drunk show, we'd have all gone, fucking yeah, I can do a fucking impression. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if uh, we were drunk, yeah. <laughs> uh so cracking question. We've embarrassed ourselves a little bit with that one. So Mick, Mick from Late Night Vape Show said he can do one of Julie Andrews, but he dared do it on here. <laughs> I'm glad I can't see chat, you set of bastards. <laughs> You just fucking wait. Uh, Steve Nichols uh, writes in. He's uh, 13. To all, you've just been washed ashore after a plane crash and your vape gear is nowhere to be found. But there is a man with you with 200 duty-free cigs and a lighter. Would you join him in having a few stinkies? I would say no, because if, if we're crashing now, I know all three of us would be able to go... No nicotine, it's fine. Depends on how so, stressful. Hold on a minute. You, we, let's just get this right. We've just crashed. Just crashed. I've got. Just I've crashed. got no vape or anything like that, and I'm stuck on a desert island. I'm sorry, I'd be. Give me them fags okay, now. Go, go <laughs> here, mate. I, I'm I, sorry. I think, unless we were actually um, going on like a booze cruise or something, and there were like loads of bottles of vodka and stuff. I pr well, then again, I probably still want to see Yeah, that would be the other way around, though. The alcohol would then pull it on, and you'd stand next to him and go, 
No, I don't know. I think I'd end up having a cigarette. I'd want some nicotine yeah, after the stress. I've just lost my arm. I would just, I would just about to say, it depends on what kind. If it's one of them really nice plane crashes where they've got the 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 bloody yellow thing out at side and you've just dropped down like James Bond like that and you've just landed <laughs> on some nice snow, I'm fine. I'm I'm rolling down hill and I'm going. I'll be all right for a couple. Yeah, of but hours. the trouble with it, landing on that sort of snow, it all turns out really good for the first maybe twenty four hours, and then before you know it, you're eating your best friend called Pete. I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a good question. I, it's, I suppose I think I, I definitely have a cigarette. I'm sorry, you the stress to do it. Yeah. No vape. Nah. The best thing about it is you go and try and find your mod and you'd be rubbing your batteries. You know, like you do with your TV remote. You'd be rubbing yeah, them. Yeah. All. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've dropped an Aegis. You've got an Aegis with you. You took yeah. that. Yeah. You're never getting that back because it's just sunk to the bottom of ocean. It still vapes, but it's at the bottom of ocean. You're like that. No, oh, I tell you, well, let us know in chat as well what you'd do. Would would you actually? Obviously, you just had a crash. You didn't look very good because your arm had fell off, um, and uh, you was missing a couple of bits and other bobs. See, I'd have, I'd have, I'd nick a cigarette off him and then feel bad about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you'd soon start not thinking about it, like uh, what Craig Campbell said after you just had Pete's ribs. Yeah. Mm. Well, That's the hardest one. That. After you've just had something to eat, you just sat relaxing and you're like, "Ah, oh, throw him at Marlboro's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just bring him over. <laughs> what, what, you, what you got? It depends on what cigarettes they are because I don't know what they're like now. But when nostalgia kicks in and you're like, "Give me them ten Super King Black." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the big long ones. Yeah, we'll <laughs> all share it. <laughs> um, cracking question, Steve. Thank you for writing in. Uh, just so we, just so you all, all you guys know, uh, when this mailbox comes in, I can't return any of your letters. I'm sorry. That's just something they always used to say on their mailboxes. Mm. I used to feel so sorry for everyone when they used to write it all out. They'd do an excellent picture, and then they'd go, "We're keeping this, you cunts." Yeah. <laughs> There's that bloke at the end of the show ripping them all down off at wall, going, "That was yeah. fucking shit." <laughs> Mo Molly from age nine year old. That doesn't even look like a donkey. It looks like a dog who's just had a stroke. Get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted you to let you all know. Pasta. <laughs> yeah. Lee Armitage writes in. Lee Armitage, 24 from... Uh, the Evil Wizard. Doncaster. Uh, what genre of music do the casters hate the most? Already know Aidan's. Ha, 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 ha. That's what he wrote. Ha, 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 ha. In that tone as well. Exactly. I, I can see it. Just say <laughs> maniacal. <laughs> Sorry, that word. Yeah, but was it uh, was it more of a? <laughs> it was it was a. <laughs> <laughs> I think he wrote that. That's that's what it's wrote in the description. I thought I'd just turned into an Italian opera then. <laughs> um, my, mine's. I, I'm not a big fan of the old uh, the old death metal. You know. No, I used to be a baby and I had no teeth. It's not really. I'm not really. <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. Um, I, do you know what? I, I'm going to be really boring here because I can literally listen to any type of music. What, even that like German death metal? I, I can listen to Ramstein and stuff <laughs> like that. I have to be. I have to be in mood for it. I can't just go. I can't go one afternoon from listening to Elaine Page on a, on Sunday and then go straight into some Ramstein. I, but if I'm in the mood for it, I can listen to most things. I tell you what I don't like, and I think this is just an age thing catching up with me, is, you know, all these grime artists and stuff like that, where they're like, yeah, I put my new kicks on and I walk down the streets and yeah. I wear my new jacket. And uh, yeah, okay, I've seen this girl. brilliant, that, bro. <laughs> you just turned into, what's his name? Is that Grimes here, what his name is? It's, it's, it's uh, Low Falling Snow, Stormzy. But that's, I, that's, that's, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't. Do you know what? And they're like, yeah, I walked down the street with my girlfriend and she said, yeah, and I said, yeah, back. And then we went for a drink and then we went for a drink. I don't mind a bit of Slipknot. I, I, can list, I can literally listen to most things, but I think that's just age coming up with me where I'm like, they're not even, it's just noise. They're not singing. They're not rapping. It's not an Eminem. It's not a Dr. Dre. It's not a classic. You're just trying to be something that you're not. And I think that's just age. But other than that, I can literally listen to anything. I, what, the last thing that I played on Spotify was Russell Watson, the, the voice, Platinum Edition. No. Bro? Me, gangster rap. Can't stand it. 
Just bring bing, 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 bing. Eminem. Don't I, every day. Don't get, I mean, I'm pretty much like Adam. I, I'll listen to all sorts. I mean, a big rock fan, but I'm also like a big electronic fan as well. But it's this gangster rap type stuff that I just no, I can't be doing with that. But I'm saying, I, I, you know, Mark, I've got a from Lonnie Donegan all the way up <laughs> to, to rap to anything. Obviously, I play a lot of stuff. I just the, one of the genres I just don't like is death metal because to me, it's just a load of screaming. See, I don't. There's certain types of death metal that I do really like, especially like Opeth. People like that, yeah, yeah. they are all absolutely awesome. I'm with you. I, but, I loved what she did with the uh, Royals. I think she did really well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one, bro. <laughs> especially, especially as well, if we actually turned it into it, was Ian Wright in drag. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> I've seen that, and I love that. Poor Ian. Mm. But, I, yeah, I can listen. I can listen to just about everything. I, they, if the mood hits me, I can listen to literally anything. But it, once oh, again, I love my blues. Jeeps, yeah, I, love blues. Yeah. I love a lot of blues. It's yeah. what I kind of play anyway. Oh yeah, we've had Mark playing his. his out, he's had a strum for us live on cast. The old strumming. Mm. He, I mean, strum- I, I really love the, the especially this sort of like your Delta blues going back to sort of like your nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties. I love that stuff. Yep, yeah, same. Really do. I tell you another thing that really annoys me now is the auto voice. Oh, I hate auto. The auto correction, and it's got to the stage now where they're not even hiding it anymore. No, it's part of the and. (laughs) I mean, it was bad enough with Billy Shear doing, I believe. But I was just about to say that. I think that was like the first bit where somebody came properly out. Uh, do, do you believe? believe? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a total auto all the way through it, and you can hear it. And do you know what? There's some acts, club acts that have them that, that use it. You can hear it. Yeah, yeah. It's got that it's electro flat. twinge to it. Yeah. yeah. I right, cracking, cracking question, Lee. Thank you very much for writing in. Uh, Mark Tink uh, writes in. Uh, Mark Tink is 45 from Scotland. Um, I actually don't know, so I, I hope I don't offend anyone. Um, I'm just having a bit of fun he's probably gonna go i'm you know what when anybody starts off a conversation like that you know it's gonna be bad it's not uh to all if you were doing a mod with a company and they said you could only have it released in what color one color what would it be oh no that's that's not horrible. it's a cracking question it's a cracking question uh, uh, rainbow i want to have it in rainbow no never rainbow oh, no 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 i've turned i've turned review products down because of the rainbow do you know, as a reviewer, I know we're very lucky to get things sent, but as soon as you open that box and it's got that rainbow look on it, you go, oh, shit. Like spilt diesel. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, That's just big fan of Clutch. <laughs> uh, yeah, Clutch, I like Clutch. Um, <clears throat> if I was to release it in any colour, it would... I, do you know what? I've got two colours that are absolute favourites and I hate them because they one of them's incredibly hard to review. Um, one's black. Mm. I love anything in black. I do love anything in black, but because of the way that we use cameras nowadays and everything else, black just fades away and you can't see anything it's properly. But black or gunmetal grey. And that'd be... If I had to choose it, it'd be gunmetal grey. Just to be kind to every every reviewer. I think obviously because of what you said, I'd go for the gunmetal, but I'd also say there's nothing wrong with a nice uh, stainless steel or like a silver as well. Mm. Or matte grey. Or sometimes as well, like that brush copper. Yes. Yeah, brush copper's nice. Yeah, you know... You, An- you know that antique copper as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's more gunmetal, but when you get something like that, yeah, I like that colour. Yeah. What's your favourite colours in chat? Let us know. Uh, James Patrick McDonough. Uh, I'm guessing from Scotland, and he's uh, 15. Um, to Vic, although Vic's not here, I'll let Aiden answer in uh, in honour. Do you think Adam is trying to take over Aiden's number two position on the show? <laughs> Kelpie! <laughs> Kelpie! <laughs> um, no, I'm just picking this bit, that's all. Kelpie! <laughs> 
Pig Love Vic. Um, do, uh, well, he, he's, he's very welcome to it, but he does have to take on the, uh, the, the responsibility. <laughs> Why have you just tried to out Superman me? So, sorry, bro. I did that when I was 16. Well, I didn't do it. I got it done when I was 16. <laughs> it just went. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Find me a phone box. <laughs> He's just tried to out Superman me. Scully um, Wax says his favourite one is wood grain. Wood grain. I like. Do you know what? And brown leather. Like that brown le brown tan oh, leather. Yeah. Is, is nice. Going back over colours. But I, I, gun metal and gun metal and tan leather. Ooh, oh, that'd be nice. That would be nice. Um, thank you for your question, James Patrick McDonough. Uh, Kieran Doyle writes in, uh, seventeen from Ireland. I'm only saying that because of Doyle. Um, what would Austin every, Doyle? Uh, what Blue would stop chips? <laughs> what would everyone recommend for a first high end mod? The catch is this. A first high-end mod I would class as around 200 to 250 of your funny money. Um, can be any type of device, mech tube, mech box, squonk, etc. Now, I'm going to stand back from this one because I don't own any elitist and I don't actually look at elitist high-end. I am always and always have been affordable and easy to use. If, I, if, if I'm totally honest with you, I'm with you, brother. Um, but I, you've got I, one behind you, though. Yeah, the, the spe obviously that came in from Les Wardle, and I've also got the the, the Kennedy as well. But um, we, I'd go for a purge, yeah. purge truck, purge truck, the purge truck. The amount of nights that we used to do on a Tuesday night, and it'd be what are you vaping on? I've got me truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That vicious ant one that you've got, Aiden. the vicious ant. This, this is what I'm saying. From having that, I'm, I'm not a big massive Swanka fan. Uh, but that did turn me into sort of like really enjoying it. <clears throat> it, it. I was always like, why is people spending this amount of money on mods? But when you do look at something that is built really, really well, you know, like if, uh, again, you've got a free max 200 watt where the door's wobbling loads of shit and yeah, you're squeezing yeah. it and you, the, the 510 wobbles a little bit. Well, on these, you just got something that is really, really well made. And it's, I think it's one of those things you, you pay for what you get. Of course you do, yeah. Massively. Yeah. Something Massively. nice and stab buddy. Um, you know what I mean? I don't the, like the, the baby the... sick sort of stab buddy. I like the nice stab buddy. Mm. The, th the thing with stab wood now is it's not stab wood like it used to be. So we used to get, if you ever seen a stab wood uh, mod back then, it was like, oh my God, that's incredible. Whereas now it's become mass produced. It's like, like the Ab abalone, Ab abalone skins. Can you remember all that? Oh, Scallywag's got a good point. Her hexo. Yes, yes. And I wouldn't class he a hex home as high end. I mean, they're roughly about what 100 and, 125, 150 quid, something like that. Yeah, but still. I'll tell you what, um, hooked on Funk's in here, Jay, and he got a one from Mr. Anderson. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen what he's been actually building himself out of wood. Um, it's been really, really good. Some of the, it looks really good quality mm. mods that he's been doing. Um, and I think there's a, a little bit of a queue to get one. Um, nice. But that, it looks really, really nice, the one that Hooked on Funk's got. Nice. A nice bit of wood. Can't go wrong with a nice bit of wood. It's nice and bit of wood. Nice wood. bit of wood. Cracking question, Kieran. Thank you very much for writing it in. It's all right if it's your own wood, but if it's your uncle's, you're in trouble. Hey, Martin Saunders writes in. Martin Saunders is uh, 19 from Leicestershire, I think. Uh, to all casters, with the pubs soon reopening, we all love a vape and a drink. Doesn't have to be alcohol, but always goes well with music. So my question is, do you know what? This sounds like I'm reading for Blind Date. To date number one. To all... <laughs> with the pubs reopening soon, uh, so my question is, what genre of music do you listen to most? And if you could have any artist, dead or alive, performing live while you're having a drink and a vape, who would you choose? Um, if, if, if I was sat down there chilling out, um, one of my favourite bands from, from growing up was Beautiful South, so uh, or the House Martins. So I had the House Martins, Beautiful South, Stone Roses, Something, some, something along them lines. Nice. 
I'm going to go big. I'd have Queen. I, do you know what? You've, <laughs> you've snuck in with one of my two there. So well done. Mm. And obviously the Beatles. Yes, I'd have the Beatles playing. The Beatles. I'm, I'm proud. I would have either Freddie Mercury in the hold of Queen or Freddie Mercury. Just because he could sit there and croon or you could jam out. It doesn't matter what what mood you were in. Oh, a bit of Johnny up. Cash. Oh, can't beat a bit of Johnny Cash. But yeah, we'll I'm going to go. I'm going to go one better, even one better than Johnny Cash. Frank Sinatra sat there singing away while I've got a bottle of Jack Daniels in front of me. A nice vape, just singing away. Him and Stones. Dean Martin, just going for it. Hendrix, there's there's absolutely loads that you could sit there yeah. and it, you, you, I'd like every single one that you've all. UB40 as well. I absolutely love UB40. Uh, going Floyd. back to like Mark, I love uh, Pink Floyd. Again, yeah. like what Mark were on about, going back to the blues, like BB King and things like that. that it, <laughs> Bit of Ray oh, Charles yeah. knocking one out at side on you. Doors. Like Hopkins. Oh, yeah, yeah. please. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'd, Mark, I'd probably go back and um, and a blues sort of band mm. that you could just sit there and have a couple you of vodkas yeah. to and chill out and... Bah, 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 bah. and Charlie Pattinson. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, or you could go completely abstract if you've ever heard Bruce Willis. Oh, the trouble is you have to wait till Christmas. Mm. It's not a Christmas film, but it is a Christmas film. But if you've ever heard it, he did uh, Sinner's Prayer with B.B. King. Didn't he do Under the Boardwalk as well? He did, he did yeah, do Under, Under the, the Boardwalk. boardwalk did, yeah. mm. Vaping well, he Heed, did... totally right, bit of Sex Pistols. Oh, he did. Robert Johnson as well, yes. He, we'll have some honestly, of that. Honestly, if you go onto YouTube, you can find it. Bruce Willis and B.B. King and someone else, I can't remember who it is. Yeah. They did Sinner's Prayer, and he played harmonica through it while B.B. King just plucked away. It was... I've the microphone then. It's, it's on his special 20s, yeah. Yeah, Bruce Willis, yeah. He released Cracking. a couple of albums. I think he got to, I think it, it got to the same sort of standard as him from uh, DIY SOS, you know. Knox, what's his face? He released an album <laughs> as well. And don't forget Bradley Walsh as well. From Bradley Chase. Walsh <laughs> and yeah. Brian Connolly, yeah. Dangerous Brian, <laughs> I love Dangerous Brian. It's a puppy, it's a puppy. Flock of Seagulls. I've got the hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was just windswept. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Cracking question, mine. Thank you very, very much. Obviously, oh, yes, we can go please. on all night and crack mm. on with an actual full-on festival of people that we'd like to see. Uh, so, cracking question. Mike B. Haynes uh, is 22 from Northern Ireland. Uh, hi, Adam. Hope all is well with you. Thank you very much. That's very kind. Uh, and the other casters. So hopefully you lot are all right. Yeah, I'm feeling all right, brother. Interested to hear if any of you have made your own liquids, and if so, what concentrate company you recommend? I recommend Vapable. I've only ever used Vapable for their concentrates, and I've only ever made random juices, so like fruity ones, and I've never gone custards. Uh, no drip packs, and who else have I used? Uh, Darkstar. You yeah, make lemon juice, don't you? Do you still make lemon yeah, juice? Yeah, still now and again. Not often, but now and again I do it. Um, I've used a few. Real flavour. One with no fucking name. <laughs> uh, flavour Apprentice as well. I've used. Like I said, Dark Star. Um, uh, also, Drip Axe I've used. There was another one as well that had a penguin on it, but I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> Well, the trouble is, bottle would never sit still. It just kept going like that. <laughs> yeah, Capella. I've used Capella in the past. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Vapable. Acca. Vapable do their own, and they they had uh, they do use Capella and uh, Flavor Art and all sorts of others as well. So. Cracking yeah, Dark Star, uh, Code Red, uh, the wonderful flat cap vapor swears by that. Cracking, cracking question. Uh, Lee Sean Anderson writes in uh, to hey, all Lee. casters, aka Lee the Vaping Anderson, Lee the Vapor Lee Anderson. Rose. What is the worst tank rebuildable or dripper you have ever bought, not been sent in for rev uh, for a review? Um, moonshot. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the moonshot, and then I was going to say the RSBT two from Smock, but that got sent in. 
Um, but yeah, the moonshot. I went moonshot. out and bought a moonshot, and it was horrendous. The best, obviously, everyone always says this, and I've always said this. The the best thing about the moonshot were the tin. Yeah, there was more mods made out of the tin than anything else. Yeah, the 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 fucking. It was a shit bag to uh, to um, build on. It was a shit bag to wick. It always leaked. It always mm. gave you a dry hit, even though you'd built perfectly. It, it was just shit. Yay. Yeah, the moon shit. Absolute moon shit. <clears throat> the Ass Wrath by Coil Art. It, yeah, yeah. It was just a nightmare. I... <clears throat> Especially as me being like, a, a, when I bought it, I, I was uh, a, a, not very good at coiling at all. And you buy something like that where you put like four coils in it or one goes across this way and well, just a nightmare. I, we, we, I were lucky because when I were at the height of buying um, drippers and and rebuildables, a lot well, of them shrunk had... now. Well, no, no. What I was going to say is, a lot... <laughs> nowadays I'm very sort of set in my ways with what I vape on. But back then it were everything had a velocity deck. Every now and again you got a goon deck, um, and it was always pretty similar until you got things that, well, they decided to go a bit outside the box with. Um, but the moonshot is definitely. Mm. I tell you definitely. what, I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of just dual posts. You know, just two posts where you've got to try and fit your coils in. I'm not a big fan of them. I like postless. Postless I like lazy is lovely. Postless. Mm. When they release postless, the dead rabbit deck absolutely baffled yeah. the world. Anyway, because when that got released, that were it. Everyone wanted to have a dead rabbit deck, and that was it. But yeah, moonshot easily. Mm. Uh, last question is from the wonderful Martin Hart, uh, Tony Hart's younger brother. To all casters, dot, 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 dot. Dramatic. This is some dramatic <clears throat> writing, this. Uh, apart from temp control, which is already happening, what feature or features, if any, do you think mod manufacturers will ditch next for their future releases? I think we've always said this. I, I can't really see a point of a puff counter. Oh, no, never. A puff counter is the most fucking redundant thing in the absolute fucking world. Especially when you, it's like... Interesting, the, the... interesting you should say that, because I totally agree with you. Why, why have a puff counter? But Jay Hayes was talking about that. He loves his puff counter, and there's a reason behind it. He likes it to know the longevity of his actual batteries. Hmm. I'm sure he's got a clock. I'm sure he has, but yeah. No, I, I totally you, agree you with you. Get, why, why have a puff I can understand it because if you get an average of, let's say, for just pure example, you get 50, 50 puffs to every single 18650. Obviously, it's nowhere near that, and I'm completely wrong with the, the – but it's an example. And you know that you get 50, 50 puffs out of it, and then all of a sudden you start getting down to 40 puffs, and you're like, Where, where's my battery life going? Mm-hmm you know, your battery's on its way out. I, I can understand that side of it. But for for the everyday Tom, Dick and Harry, the normal thing about puff counters is the puff counters are normally too small on the screen anyway. Yeah. And it's just a redundant feature for, for most for most. Oh, people. they only go up to like four numbers. Yeah. And, and, and like this one, it only goes up to three numbers. So you get to 99, you, you have to stop. You have to stop vaping yeah, completely. Yeah, yeah, you, give up. you have to swap it. bands. <laughs> You've completely stopped. <laughs> Once you get to ninety nine, that's it. You go. I, I, I can understand what people are saying in there, such as like you want to know what your coil life is and how long your batteries are lasting. But how many times do you need to test it? Mm. So you need that puff counter for once or twice, or is it just that you're really nosy and you think, oh, I tell you, well, that coil didn't last me an extra seven puffs. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm extra gonna, seven puffs. <laughs> I'm going to send an exact exact bloody email to X company to say, I missed out on my seven puffs because of that. <laughs> I can understand it, but to me, I just think it just takes up space on a, on, on a, a screen that you don't particularly need. Um, That's I, another one that from Adam Stone, power curves. Yeah. What's the point of that? Uh, power curves were, it was very faddy. When it first came out, everyone were like, oh yeah, you can set it so it goes... But then we got consistent chips that mm. gave you instant fire and continuous fire anyway and, and teetered off themselves. So when you had a vape, you went, ooh, full hit, 
and it teeters off as you come to end. Entirely faddy power curve. Do you, do you... I've never understood uh, temperature control. I've never, never got it. Uh, there, there is. There, I have. Uh... I don't use it, but I know people that have used it, and, and they use it for obviously because when it it doesn't burn your cotton out, does it? Cause yeah, it, yeah. It it, it c- comes off because it only goes up to so much temperature and then stops. And yeah, I'm yeah. Not... But the thing is, though, if you don't know how much juice is in your tank, if you're you... dripping and you can't see that you <laughs> that you yeah, can't you dry, I mean? come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't use it. It's not so. I also don't think you you. You should really. I think you should have the ohms of your coil on there. I don't think you need voltage. Oh, yeah, definitely. Either. Do you know what voltage is a weird one because it started as voltage and then went to wattage. Mm. I, I think it's a big. I, th- I think it's more for the hobbyist vapor that the voltage is on there. Yeah. You know the original hobbyist vapor who started off reading the three point seven volts and yeah four point two volts and stuff like that. So I I, I kind of agree with keeping. Um, volts. Do you think it should be an option put into? You know, when you've got like these, the the the, the, the more um, extensive mods. Do you think it should be an option that you can take off your screen and then it'll make it bigger? Yeah, yeah, it's, completely. It's, it's like one of my biggest bugbears about this. The top bit you can see, all right, but the bottom bit you can't even see it because they're little tiny numbers. So if it, if you got rid of it and like moved it up a little bit, and... yeah, yeah. I think just just the same as Inakin products and things like that, where you're able to swap. Uh, and and Joytech used to be able to do it. You used to be able to swap from uh, voltage to watts on your screen. Mm. That that I, I'm I'm a firm believer that we should keep volts for for that reason because it's a it's an air of nostalgia. You're able to look back and think this is how we used to vape. Like, you think about your vision spinners and things like that. They didn't twist around to thirty watts. They went um, up to your three point uh, three point eight. I can't remember. Four point eight. Four uh, four point eight down all the way down. Mm. See, a lot of people saying, "Look, I I use volts." Um, yeah, I, think, exactly. I think if you if you did a, I, I'm, I'm maybe speaking out of turn here, but I think if you did sort of like a, a hundred vapors, I think you'd, yeah. you'd probably find that ninety percent of them vapors used wattage. Um, so, as a voltage person, you could probably get round of. of I think the average person that vapes doesn't need voltage. I, I think the average that person like that it. vapes doesn't need mm. wattage as well, if I'm going to be honest, because we all do the same way we go. I, I vape this at 49, 49, 50 watts every single time. 49, 50 watts. Once you say it, I think you should have a nice screen on there. That's mm. it. A flower. I've got a, I've got a lovely screen on this one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the mech. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that was a, a really, really good question. Really, really. Yeah, what is your bypass mode? I have used. Oh, it in bypass. bypass mode. I think they should get rid of bypass. I don't know. I've used it in bypass. Mm. But if you're going to use bypass, you might as well use a mech. But obviously, you're not getting that safety, are you? No, oh. I know, but it's a bomb. It's a bomb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, to be fair, it's it's one of them, isn't it? It's the they they tried the hardest to shove as many features and things. I think it's DNA's fault, if I'm going to be honest. Because DNA gave you so many options to be able to go on eScribe and and absolutely tee in your vape all the way down to the minutest section. And then what happens is because DNA did it, you get all your normal companies with your proprietary chips just go, oh, we'll put this on, put this on, put this on. Puff puff counters should go for a start. That's it. Well, I mean, that all kicked off when the wattage war started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you let us know in chat as well, does any of you actually use temperature curves? It's just one of them things, isn't it? I think everyone... I, okay, I like no, that... the idea. It was one of them things that I really liked the idea of temperature control when it first came out. Because you think, do you know what? It will be nice. When I've got a stock coil... Uh, when I've got a, um RTA or something like that in, to be able to get the longevity out of there where it sort of regulates itself and you can be a really lazy vapour, it's a cracking idea. But in order to do that, then you've got to set it up and you've got to... Make sure that it's all screwed. It's too much faff. Um, the gate sci-fi guy. Basically, what it is is you can set it off so your wattage will start off say it's say thirty watts and then it'll peak at fifty and then you can drop it yeah. and it'll go down to say forty and that's all on one press. Yeah, hip hop's got a point as well. The increments. They one annoy or, me. Or zero point five. Yeah. I'm a one watt. Yeah, why not one watt? Well, well, the zero point fives are really good for people who are doing maths along. Yeah. 
I am a one watt increment. This is a cracking question, by the way. Thank you very, very much, um, Martin, for that one. Following up with the final question of the night from Mr. John Everett. Uh, thank you, Kenny's brother. Uh, to all, what was your very first vape? He's put kit here, but I know that I didn't buy a kit. I had a vape. My, my first one was uh, 2006 from a garage. It was one of them little, I've said it plenty of times, little tiny, um, well, it wasn't little, it was about that big. They were a black cigar light with glue up blue at the end and you put these cartridges. At, at, like a vibe. Yeah, well, well, no, it was just it was thinner. It was actually like a cigarette or about like that big. And, yeah. and you just put your cartridge, you had low, medium and high. And I got it from a garage. I got it from the garage just up there. Which was I nice got mine from Tesco's. It was called 10 Motives. I've still got it in my drawer of junk. I put mine for a harmonica. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm -mm, what? Mm -mm. Gaily Bobs. Hello. I had a, a usual C, uh, C4 cartomizer um, with an Ego battery, and that were it. That went first in. But I'm, I'm going to add to John's question. Um, what was your first... I would call it a proper sub ohm setup because that's obviously where we went to next. No, what I went next was Bo You went cartomizers, didn't you? Yeah, I went to Bo cartomizers and I was uh, using a Mac called the uh, Touchwood. And you've still got it, haven't you? I still have got it. Yeah, I, I, I went. I went through. Obviously, I went on to the um, the, the cartomizers um, with the batteries and all that. But I think my first proper setup that I had was the Atlantis V2, um, and this was the, not iPriv, it's the IPV Mini 2, I think. I had the Ely... That was black. <laughs> I went for the Ely 50 watt with the Kanga Subtank Mini. Or was I it, mean, no, it, no, it wasn't. I, it was it was the Subtank Nano. I Nano was... Oh, it's all right. I was nostalgia in then because I, I remember using the 0.8 ohm coil and uh, I, the first ever sub ohm I'd ever gone to 0.8 ohm coil. And you think this is really, really dangerous. This everyone in the shop, because obviously back then a, a, a person we've we've had the discussion about how many idiots that we've seen in vape shops uh, throughout the years. So, but this was when people were really into it. So you'd walk in and they'd give you something that was that was safe and that you knew they knew you're a new vapor and stuff like that. And I got given a 0.8 ohm coil and he went, that's sub ohm. And I'm like, what, what the fuck does sub ohm mean? What, what am I going to do? What, what, what am I going to do here? And I, I started vaping it and I was like, the flavor and everything else from this Kanga sub tank mini uh, nano was just off the charts at 0.8 ohms. Mine was a penny mod clone. And a tugboat V1. Tugboat, I remember you having that. Tugboat. And the tugboat, we had to drill the holes out to make it bigger, so you got more air. Yeah. <laughs> Mongolia Vape said, you said proper, you're counting Kangatek. Now, I'll tell you what, Kangatek in its day. Mm. Kangatek back then. And they, they, did they make one of the first C, C, R, C no. coils, is it? Yeah, they, um, do you know what? Kangatek, back in the day, back in the day, and I'm talking... 2014, 2015, that kind of time, when there was a lot, a well, lot. Your big three of... players was Kangatech, Inic, Joytech, and, and Smoke. Aspire. Uh, yeah, well, and Joytech were about as well, weren't they? Mm. Yeah, Joy uh, Smoke. I, if I remember rightly, Smoke was the first people to ever release a proper RDA as well. Yeah, RDA. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got to but, think. A lot of people think Kangatech are completely out of it. Kangatech are actually mm -hmm. building things for other companies. Mm -hmm. If you, if, it's like the Enovap that came out. That was built by Kangatech. Mm -hmm. The the sub tank, as everyone's saying, the the the, the, the Kangatech sub sub line because there was the sub tank mini, the sub tank nano, and the sub tank, and the sub tank held something like five mil. The mini held uh, four and the Nano held two. And they all took the same coils. I remember the RBA deck and the first... Yeah. That's the sub... Uh, is that the sub box? Yeah. Yeah. I had the... And then they were the... Mark, Mark, give me this red one. I had a black one that I got myself. I give that away. 
Yeah. And, and the, this was like where you could fit the coils. They were already pre-made, but you could actually make them yourself if you had the deck. Yeah. They were like pre-made coils. I, oh, that's going back some. <laughs> I, it, do you know what? Back then, I, I remember Joytech, when Joytech released the Evic VTC Mini. Oh, God, yeah. Single 18650 with the tank that they said could handle up to 50 watts. And you were like, this is incredible. It got, the box itself went up to 80 watts. It was incredible. Well, can you remember the K box? Yeah. K box where you saw increments. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good call. Oh, no, UD. 50 watts. The art UD used for. to make some good tanks as well. Yeah. I, back then, obviously, we'd, we've seen a lot of these companies come and go and I, I, a lot of them are still about e-leaf yeah e-leaf were big e-leaf yeah, e -leaf. were joy tech though that was the thing e-leaf were joy tech and i'll tell you what you talk um, about sub ohming uh and we, we, we won't go in like in the massive wattage race then no you can't get better than an i sub yeah yeah an i sub that used to come with the uh the cool fire four or the cool fire three i think it was cool fire three and then you had um you'd be the doing cool fire four, the one that looked like a grenade no, the Cool Fire 4 is the one that what my dad's got. I could never get into them. Uh, I could uh, never get into Inakin because it were a three press. Three press, everything's three press, yeah. Everything was five press. And you got to a, you got to an Inakin product. I remember the, the local vape shop having one and he went, have a look at this Cool Fire 4, I think it were. And he went, I went, oh, I'll just turn it on. Why won't it turn on? And he went, it's three presses. As if like that was some major <laughs> major jump in the vape game. You, you've got to think you were you were sub at thirty five watts. I remember sitting down there with a bit of Mako Yatso Bolt at thirty five mm. watts, and I'd do thirty mil in a night because it was that beautiful, really smooth. And I tell you something, some of the older stuff like that Cool Fire Four was just such a nice setup with that juice. I've tried to replicate it, and you can't get it. You can't get the juice because you can't have the nicotine in it. It's not steeped, and you're not yeah. getting that nice flavour. It, it, I think sometimes some of the older stuff were quite nice. I, 100%. 100%. I am in full agreement with you because some, some of the stuff that came out back then, I mean, um, Lost Art. Lost Art were like pretty big with the flavors. Yeah. They used to do, um, I can't remember what it was called. It was this, it was green. It was fucking luminous green e-juice. And it, it was like a custard. It was absolutely epic. Full of diacetyl and oh. everything else that were bad for you. But it was... It, it was, it was like, I mean, uh, Mother's Milk, wasn't it? Yes. Char Charlie's Chalk Dust. I, no, it, not Charlie's Chalk Dust. It's uh, Suicide Bunny. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I remember. We, we still sell it. Believe it or not. <laughs> I, do you know what? Back then, I, I don't know whether it's just nostalgia. If we were to go back and try the, try the juices now, I'm sure they'd be nothing in comparison to what they were, what they, what they are now. But Well, you've got to remember, going back to that same period, I mean, we were so used to Hang Seng type of juices. Oh, cherry coke. It was sort of like 70 PG... 30 VG, and, it was and we so wondered like... why we used to shit all the time because mm. PG just went straight through you, <laughs> absolute straight through you. I, if it weren't your fucking chest being ripped out by 70 PG, mm. it, the throat hit. I always remember watching P. Basado and he's going, Oh, the throat hit on this, and he's like, It's 90 PG, yeah. Oh, oh my poor chest, ladies and gentlemen. Stuart Valentine has just put it in chat there. Uh, there is 224 people watching right at this moment in time. And we only have 39 likes. How can that be? How can that be? Come on, get them thumbs up. So, ladies and gentlemen, do me that massive, massive favour. Let's have a like um, for everyone in chat. It would be grand. It does help the stream and it does help everything else. Uh, it does help us get spotted in the YouTube algorithms. And it does help the channel. Uh, which is always, always nice. You lot are legends. Thank you. Like C Black says, only 6,374 likes to go. Uh, it's a, it's a big shout out. Obviously, Vic's not here, and obviously, it's his show. And like we said, we are trying just to keep the show running while he's been Paul in. Um, so you've got a show every week. Um, so thank you very much, everybody who stuck by us. Yeah. Smash it. Smash it. That's what Mowgli Vape says. Um, 
but I'll tell you something, nostalgia, nostalgia is a, it's, it's a dangerous beast. Oh, it's a dangerous beast yeah. because we do, we sit here and we go, do you know what? They were so nice. They were so nice. And I can guarantee you, we go back and try it and it would be horrendous. It would be horrendous. Yeah, well, I, I'm thinking just then when I was out of wee, I, when I first started reviewing, um, I couldn't wait for Mark to come down. Because I, I, I go, bro, I've, I've done my juices. He go, oh, you finished them once? I'll go and have a look through my box. And Mark used to go and have a look round his box, what he'd got, obviously the right box. And then he'd bring me stuff down, you know, like these, oh, right, I've got this one to review and I've got this one to review. Mm. And it, and he were like, you were so excited, the 30 mils with actual nicotine in, and they tasted great. They tasted great. Yeah. And it, yeah. you were excited to review it. I, do you know what? It, it's like, I think, I don't mean to blow sunshine up his ass, and I always will. But Rochford Project, Jay, <sighs> the, the one thing, right, is this juice has been alive for a few years now. And 100%. It's nostalgia in a bottle, but the nostalgia stays the same. It's yeah. not. It's not changed. It's not. It is one of them that I'd not vaped lemon lush for a little bit when I when I gave it all up. Martin Saunders, thank you very much for that super chat. You absolute legend. UKVS mesh rebuildables, yes or no? I ask because I haven't cracked Wiccan on my profile. R D T A. Uh, I can't beat it for flavor. Do you know what? I love mesh rebuildables. I don't like wicking mesh rebuildables because you are always three seconds away from a dirty, great, big, dry hit. I, I've, I've got to say, after I, I used to hate mesh. I really, really did hate mesh. And it's not one of my keenest things that I... It's not something I'd go out and get. Yeah. But when we got the um, from Steam Crave, the Aromarizer V2, that was a game changer. All the way up to 160 watts, I didn't get a dry hit. You could really push that. Mm, you Very can. simple wicking. As we'll talk about the, the ceramic plate that's underneath. You know, Obviously, you've got with the profile that pushes up that mesh. Now, this didn't have it. It's just that they changed the way the wicking was because they put holes underneath it. And obviously, with it being an RDTA, it's the actual juice is coming up from the bottom and saturating that cotton. Where obviously if you've you've only got that that um, with a profile with it being an RTA, it's uh, it's not doing that. I just want to put my finger up, right? Because I, I I I don't. Did he just to... shush me? No, Did he just I, shush? there were no shushing. There were no shushing. I, I sat here patiently like that. Even Mark noticed and went because we've just had a question, and, and I feel like I, I feel like we can give the ladies and gentlemen if they hit us a few more likes then we can give him a little bit of breaking news. The Vaping Scotsman has asked, so when is Mark becoming the permanent caster? I want to break a little bit of news, but only if we break 100 likes. If we break 100 likes, I will be, I will give you a bit of breaking news. <laughs> just so you know. And I'd just if like I... to add to the mesh bit. I like mesh. I didn't like mesh. I love mesh. Until Steam Crave. Steam Crave is about the only one that I will trust. For mesh but with mesh you always get a cool vape it don't matter which one yeah. you try you always get a cool if it's a oh, stock no. coil mesh or it's rebuildable mesh got pretty warm you always get a cool vape. even at that I, it's still a cool vape compared to having a uh, coil yeah i do you know what the the mesh for me mesh for me made it when the free max mesh pro came out when the Freemax Mesh Pro came out, that was it. I was 100% hooked on Mesh. I, I stated it multiple times. I went, Mesh is the future. Mesh is the future. And I never staked anything so much and so highly as I did on uh, Mesh. Because Mesh for me was a better flavor. Now, rebuilding with Mesh is a completely different beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because rebuilding with Mesh is completely different to a Mesh stock, uh, stock coil. Um, because a stock coil is is just absolutely cracking in comparison to it's it's a little bit like the nest what what Nature Vape were coming out with. He was basically trying to make a rebuildable um, mesh coil, wasn't he? With, with mm. the way it fitted in, and then with the with it coming around, that's that that's what he was trying to do. Yeah. Um, I think Wood Tattoo's done about the best one. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. 
But I think mm-hmm. there was I think we were talking there was one before where you had to put the clip round it and then wrap yeah. it round and then wrap it round again. We were on about it last week, weren't we, Adam? Yes. I I'm just keeping an eye on the likes. Uh, because we're at 85, which means we need 15 more. It's, do you know what? He's just like orientated this kid. <laughs> I am. I, I still say that mesh stock coils was the game changer it for strong tanks. Yeah. yeah. It was a fug ugly tank, like both of you called it, the, the Mesh Pro, but it was an absolute mm. corking flavour. And then you were looking at the Horizon Tech with the Falcon. That were another yeah. game changer, really good flavour. The Raptor, the Ororoff, you know what I mean? The, these, yeah. Ororoff, the, these started piling out, and I, I think they were absolutely fantastic. And the, the, the good thing about it as well, I know a lot of people had with the Ororoff that didn't have the uh, longevity with the coils. I didn't have a problem. But there was a lot better than your smock pumped out coils that lasted a week. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently I mean, no doubt, I mean, your mesh coils, coils now, YouTube, compared to your single round wire coils that used to be in most of them, I mean, there's no comparison anymore. If we've, uh, we haven't froze, but if you no, have, no. Uh, they just, just press refresh, You're not froze here. So ladies and gentlemen, we are eight, we are eight likes away for some breaking news. Well, not breaking. It's exclusive. We'll call it a UK vape show exclusive bit of news. Mowgli, what's, what's Mowgli? What Mowgli said? Someone see if you can log into Facebook. It's not working to them. I, I don't know if that. Right, they must. They must be an issue on uh, the other side. Ninety-four likes. We are. Not yeah, the, you're totally to- totally right. The the, the smart coils. The amount of people I was talking to. And some people were saying they had problems with the PMP coils, sort of. And I was like, well, no, I've, I've never had a problem I've with them either. I've never had PMP coils. I think I mean, the... I mean, let's face it, you're talking about PMP coils, uh, plug and play. That's a big change, really, when you think about yeah. it. Because you used to have to screw your coil in. Now it's just push and, push and play. I mean, cracking idea. Pav G, your big love, bro. Uh, d- right. d- yeah, Everyone's... but the, the, the TPP coils are um, better, in my opinion, than the PMP. The flavour mm. from them are brilliant. Seems to have bigger wicking. It seems to wick a lot better. A lot mm. of people say, as well, you're getting leaking. I, I didn't have any leaking. Yeah. Where are we? We're two away. We're two away. We are at the 100 like mark. Thank you very, very much. Now, if the gents... On, uh, on cast, don't mind. And I know Vic doesn't mind because he's already heard the news. Us three are very, very proud to announce. And I'm the one who's been drinking. I know. <laughs> are, are very, very proud to announce that very, very shortly, and if you search for it right now, you will find that Last of the Summer Vapes has its very own YouTube channel. And that is for one reason and one reason only. That I'm pregnant. From very, <laughs> very, very shortly, the three of us will be coming back for Last of the Summer Vapes monthly yep. for now. Monthly. There'll be a special show every month over on the Last of the Summer Vapes uh, YouTube channel. Now that we've announced it, we can start sharing it around a little bit and uh, hype building, as we'll call it, as well as doing the um, UK Vape Show as well. We will be hosting, we've always called it the second best. Um, vape Craig show Campbell, so nobody starts a channel with that name. Unfortunately, that, that, that name's been going for, what, five, six years? Five, six years, yeah. Mm. Uh, so it is returning. Vic is the father. Um, <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> Vic is the father, but we are we are extremely proud um, to announce the name of our little baby that is the last of the summer vapes YouTube channel of its very own. Once a month, uh, we will be returning for the same old usual uh, ramble that was. The yeah, last I'm really looking forward to it. Yep. I, do you know what? I'm gagging. I'm gagging for it. I can't wait. <laughs> He's gagging for it. Ooh, I'm gagging. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your monthly dose. He's going to return very, very soon. Uh, it, 
be make make sure that you keep an eye on all the social medias and things like that all of our social yeah. medias and we'll give you a lot more coming up when um when it comes out and there will be all your usual hashtags hashtag no mash ha hashtag cheaper than black pudding and uh, piss flaps and all of the other favorites that you do remember um will cheaper be... than black pudding hey do you know what that's a brilliant that calzone uh calls I was, Calzone. 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 I'm thinking of a pizza. He's on about W and A vapes that way. He were a brilliant guest. He was, wasn't he? I, 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 I think he blocked me after I gave him some shit about uh, Man City. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll tell you, I absolutely. I, do you know what? Nothing makes me prouder than announcing it than absolutely announcing it because it's been something that we've been sat on for a couple of weeks while we've been talking about, well it's actually been in talk since uh we did the last of the summer vapes reunion special over on retro vape tv um and we were like oh, shall we shall we shall we shall we uh and we've gone as far as to set the channel up the channel is all set up ready to ready to go um and very soon very soon we'll be uh, bringing it out so that's what your likes have bought you ladies and gentlemen a little bit of exclusive UK vape show news. Exclusive. He sounded like Stewie from uh, Thingy then. Oh, shit. Oh, Brian. Hello, Brian. <laughs> Eat it, Brian. Eat it. Well, uh, I think it's that time uh, of the evening. Saying, can you do um, impersonations? I can, yeah. Brian. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Stewie, Brian. not Brian. Sorry, Stewie. Stewie. It's Stewie. all right. He also did yeah. an impression of somebody with uh, Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you're in a show, son. It's all right. <laughs> Sat down there like Dougie. Dougie, um, are you all right there, Mrs. Bothelswaite? <laughs> you're all right. You pull, you pull. Do you want a thambulance? Do you want thambulance? Thambulance. <laughs> Need a thambulance. <laughs> well, I, do you know what? I, I love I love the fact that we've... I've been eating them out to date Marifat peas. <laughs> Marachunky peas. can't say that. You've got to call them slightly chubby or big bone peas. I could call them Marifat because I were at war. <laughs> war, yeah. <laughs> so, lads, I think that's it. We've hit them with the uh, breaking news. We've uh, we've gave them the UK's number one vape show. <laughs> Unfortunately, without Vic. Without Vic, bless him. We we hope we hope Vic gets gets better. And and do you know what I. <sighs> I love him. I love him. And I just hope he gets better and he, he get, gets yeah. the rest and, and just comes back fighting next week and uh, will be here anyway, just to just to power on in, in honour anyway. So in honour. Um, in honour. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you to everyone who's in chat. You lads and lasses and ladies and gentlemen are absolutely epic. Thank you very much, everyone who's joined. Thank you, everyone who went over to my other channel and subscribed. That's absolutely lovely of you. I want to say a big thanks to Stuart, the fucking lightning fingers on the web. Absolute diamond. The spanners, the, 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 the just chat is epic for us. And thank you for all of your questions. Thank you for everything. That's my Oscars an announcement it's been great uh thanks mark for jumping in and helping out thanks aiden for being lovely and and just thanks bro do you want to say your goodbyes thank you very much for having me once again guys it's been thoroughly enjoyable thank you and thank you guys in chat as well <laughs> Big love to everybody in chat. You've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much to the Spanners. Thank you very much for Bro for sitting in for the wonderful Vic. Swear Hopefully out. next week he'll be absolutely fine. And Dandy is changing his medication. Adam, you have been absolutely on top form tonight. You absolute star. Big love to you. Make sure you join us next week. This was episode 290 of the UK Vape Show. Look after yourselves. We will catch you next week. Good night. Ah. Good night.